Physiotherapy is absolutely paramount and key. And it's really important that the patients do attend the physio uh, sessions and they get progressed through a level of, of uh, activities uh, and rehab so that they go up a ladder. And on the website, on the documentation they are given, they're given an idea of what to expect at each level. But it's no good just going to the classes and just doing your exercise with the classes. It's like having homework and you've got to take that homework home and work on it because then you will progress and you will do well afterwards. It is going to be painful but if you keep doing your exercises you will find the benefits and in the long run I feel a lot better. <laughs> it's definitely a lot better than it was before so it's worth it. After an ACL reconstruction the, most of the work is definitely with the patient. Everyone gets a ballpark figure of how we expect them to progress but no uh, the physiotherapy program, the rehabilitation program is tailored individually to the patient and every patient is different. We treat the patients, we don't treat x-rays and pictures and what the inside of their knee looks like, we treat the patient. I'm very happy to say there is no normal. Everybody's different, everybody starts off at a different point, everybody wants to recover to a different point. So there is no exact science, there is no exact um, number of physio sessions everybody needs. We try and take our patients as individuals and what they want to return to. It's an individually tailored programme. We've got a pretty good idea of how they, would, how they should be. So for instance, for an ACL reconstruction, you should be walking reasonably comfortably by six weeks, should be running in straight lines carefully by three months, should be sprinting, twisting, turning, jumping by six months. And if you're going to go back to contact sports, rugby, football, uh, nine to 12 months. Those are the sort of ballpark figures, but everyone is different. Although they give you your exercises to do, um, it is mainly you have to do it yourself at home. You have to make sure you do them three, four times a day. So you have to drive yourself to do it because at the end of the day, it's yourself that you have to get better. They can't do it for you. So you get the message. Exercise and physio is an individual business and it's essential to keep practicing your exercises at home every day. The exercise section of this website is split into playlists according to the stage of your recovery. Remember to only practice the exercises that are part of your programme and to follow the instructions on the website or those given to you by your physio about how many repetitions you should be doing. Check the resources section of the site for information and instructions that you can download and print off.